Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to a day in the life of a Harvard student. Now this is going to be something really interesting because, you know, I went to a pretty good university. The Co uh, Coventry University is pretty good, but it's not Harvard. <laughs> I mean, Harvard is like one of the best, if not the best, you know, universities in America, in the world. So I've always wondered what kind of, you know, these students must be under so much pressure to do well, to, to network, to make the most of their time there. So I've always wondered what would a day be like there? How much sleep do these students get? How much work do they have to put in? Stuff like that. So it's going to be a really, really eye-opening video for me to watch. So let's do it. Seems like a fairly normal dormitory. Mine was way messier. <laughs> So after my alarm goes off, I might snooze it a couple of times, but I try to get up and not stay in bed too long. And then I always make my bed first thing. Harvard's in uh, Massachusetts, I think. Is it, is it near Boston or is it in Boston? It just helps me start the day with a clean room and a clean mind. Yeah, I do the same thing. You gotta do your bed when you wake up. And then I'll usually check my phone, see any text messages from last night that I missed. And then I always check the weather because Boston weather is pretty variable and I like to be prepared for the day and pick out my own. It is in Boston, yes. Outfit. And then I'll just go to the hallway bathroom and brush my teeth, wash my face, do my skincare routine and just get ready for the day pretty solid so far. And then I don't do this every morning, but I try to do some yoga and stretch a little bit because I'm usually sore right when I wake up and I find that stretching just helps me prepare for my day better and puts me in a really good mood. It's funny, like her, her lifestyle now as a student is really similar to what I do, but I've not been a student for like 10 years so like you know she's really responsible and stuff like that for someone her age i'm guessing she's what about 18 or 19 or something like that and i love doing yoga so i'm working on my practice And then I do do this every day. I like to meditate for like five to 10 minutes because I find that it just really helps me clear my mind yeah. and get focused and kind of get rid of all of the, the noise and the distracting thoughts that I'm always thinking about. So it really helps me just get my brain in a good mood for classes and just for enjoying things. And then I always make sure to take my vitamins every day. So the ones wow. that I use are by a company called Care Of, and they're actually partnering with me on today's video. So thank you so much, Care Of. And the thing I like about Care Of is that they're all specialized to your needs. And they all come in these personalized little packets with your name on them and like a quote or fun fact for the day. So they're actually really fun to take. Man, I'm so impressed, I have to say. Like, you know, I don't, I did none of this stuff when I was a kid, you know, I was just thinking about partying and stuff. So after I'm ready for the day, I have a little bit of studying to do. So my first class is Korean and I'm just doing a little bit of homework for that. Man. My handwriting is kind of bad, don't judge me, but I'm trying to get better. I don't even know. What is uh, if there's any Korean people watching this video? What does this say? Please tell me. <laughs> I've got no clue. And then I just pack my bag for the day and make sure I have everything and set out for my first class. Yeah, it looks like a. Pretty good campus, 
that's fairly similar to what I had. Most days I have time to get breakfast in the D-Hall, but today I didn't, so I just went and picked up a green juice. <laughs> yeah, a lot of red brick, really sort of European style. Someone mentioned that in Boston, a lot of the architecture is really similar to what it is here in the UK. It does seem to be true. If I just saw this picture, I'd think it was in the UK, honestly. My first class of the day is Korean and it's in Northwest Labs, so I head there. Annyeonghaseyo! Oh. oh, that's so cute! Vlogging! <laughs> This is my section leader, Lee Sung Sing Nim, and she's incredible. I love her. I have Korean every single day, and I have so much fun in this class. And then after, I'll head to lunch, and this is Annenberg, the freshman dining hall, and this is where we eat all of our meals. Thank you. Nice, this is an awesome building. Looks like a, looks like a church, like a converted church. And this year they put in a plant-based section, which always makes me so happy. I always feel like hugging the dining hall workers whenever I see the amazing vegan food that they make. And then this is my friend Jonathan, and we were just grabbing a quick lunch before our classes, and he was showing off his tattoo. Next I head to my Women and Gender Studies class, which is my favorite class, and I look forward to it every single week. How much does a year's tuition at Harvard cost? Because here you're looking at the top university in the country as of right now is Cambridge University and it's 9,000 if you're a UK student and if you're an international student it's about 20,000 I think just for tuition then you've got accommodation on top uh, food stuff like that so how much does Harvard cost I'd love to know And then after classes are done for the day, I'll head to the Smith Center, which is the campus center, and I have a job there. So I work at one of the desks and just kind of point people in directions and tell them where the bathroom is, and I get to do my homework while doing it, so it's a pretty nice job. Um, and I'll usually sit there for about two or three hours. That's usually the length of one of my shifts. Seems like a fairly standard student job. After my shift is over, I get a text from one of my friends saying we should go study on the lawn in front of Widener Library because it's such a beautiful day. So we go put out a little blanket and study, but also just kind of goof off. Man, studying outside on the lawn, I would never, <laughs> I, would, it's, I would just be like constantly distracted. To be honest, I didn't do that much studying. I wasn't really the studying type. I was the type of guy that if I had an exam coming up or some coursework, I'd leave it to the last week and then I'd just cram, cram, cram. <laughs> like, I was not, I could not just sit down and study. I, I hated it, to be honest. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I'm pretty <typing>. okay. <laughs> This is one of my really good friends, Made, and she's a junior, so I'm always happy when she wants to hang out with a first year like me. And then after studying a bit, we head to Tate to get some coffee and like an afternoon pick-me-up and do a little more studying together. We were actually doing our taxes together, which was pretty funny. <laughs> we both have no idea how to do Taxes? Why are they doing taxes? I don't, don't taxes just get taken automatically from from your pay? Why, why are students doing taxes? Do taxes and we're helping each other out. She just refused to let me buy her coffee and then bought mine. I <laughs> And Tate is a favorite amongst Harvard students because it has really good food and coffee and it just has such a nice ambiance. So I always come here to study. And then after Made leaves, I really get to work on 
a draft for one of my papers for my expos class, which is like our expository writing class, which is a requirement for all freshmen. Sometimes if I really need to focus, I'll go to Widener, but I really like coffee shop vibes and the kind of background noise, so I really do a lot of my studying in coffee shops. Mmm, coffee shop study. And then it's back to the Berg, which is what we call the freshman dining hall, and I'm getting dinner with my really good friend Lucy. Food looks uh, interesting. Yeah, this ha this is a vegan. Yeah, I don't see any meat here. That's some kind of tofu, I think. And then after dinner, we decided to go work out, which I usually like to do before dinner, and I was really full, so it probably wasn't the best idea, but we went and did some cardio, so I like to go on the elliptical machines, and I'll usually go for like about an hour, maybe 45 minutes if I'm short on time. And then I always listen to music because it helps me work out better, so I'm listening to BTS, of course, and make sure to stream Map of the Soul Persona because it's a really good album. BTS, they're a Korean band, aren't they? Yeah, I reacted to some of their music, I think about six or seven months ago. I should probably do more to be fair. And then this is us looking all sweaty, but very happy after an hour long workout. And then we just go do some ab work together. I try to work out about five days a week, but it doesn't always happen. So some weeks it's more like three, some weeks if it's really bad, it's more like one, but I always try to get a workout in because I think it's really important, especially as a student to just cope with stress and yeah. work your body, break a sweat. Yeah, that's one thing that I did in at uni. You know, it's important, I think, just because it's a distraction away from the study environment, the learning environment. Even if you're not doing much studying, which, which I did, I, I found working out to be really, really useful for just keeping me in a positive mindset. And it really helps with like my mental health and mental clarity. So I think it's really important. And then after, I always make sure to stretch. Wow, she can do the and splits. And then straight from the gym, I head to my women in business committee meeting. And this is my chair, Samantha. She's so cute. I love her a lot. I really love my committee. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> this is Samantha. Hi. <laughs> And then when I get back, it's a little after 9 p.m., so I just shower and get ready for bed. That is me goofing off and trying to be cute. And then after I've done my skincare routine and gotten fully ready for bed, I get in PJs and do a little bit of reading. And this is Virginia Woolf's To The Lighthouse, so. What's that? Is that like a, a humidifier or something? Like what's this thing that's puffing out all that steam? So I always like to read before bed because I think it's a lot healthier than being on your phone, even though I'm definitely on my phone. Sienna, get off your phone. <laughs> At this point, it's about midnight and I just switch off the light and go to bed and do it all again the next day. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing really the day in my life and- Yeah, to be honest, I'm, uh, when I was watching that, I was impressed at a lot of the uh, things that she'd incorporated into her day, like uh, the stretching at the start of the day, the vitamins and all of that stuff, because, you know, back when I was in, in university, <laughs> none of us were doing that sort of stuff. But I think that young people of today, like really, really, really young people, like, you know, 18 to 21, I think they're, they're a lot more informed about health and things like that. So, you know, they have a lot more information that I had when I was in university. So yeah, really, really impressed by her. She's definitely gonna go really, really far. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.